On the previous video, I did speak about UIF SMSs, processes, as well as challenges. And today, I'm going to talk about UIF statuses, what they mean, and what is expected of you as an applicant. Online applicants, after making an application on you filing, the first status that you're going to see is received from you filing. This is just an acknowledgement that your application has been received. And you can view this under um, application history on the you filing portal. CNV community, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching my videos. And then there's going to be a submission from you filing. What this means is that um, your application has been submitted and it has been noted. You will either get an SMS or an email depending on what method of communication you have chosen while you were creating a U filing profile. The next status on the application is completed application. What this means is your supporting documents in relation to application has been received by UIF. However, it is still waiting for verification. Once the verification has been completed, your application will then be moved to send to assessor. You will receive an SMS, you will receive an email in relation to this um, status. You can also view this on a U filing portal under application history. On the following status, your application will be sent to assessor. This is the investigative department. They are going to look into your application thoroughly. They are going to be paying attention to detail. La Lela is your application. They're going to look at from UI19 to your history, to your declarations to your contributions, the number of factors that are going to be looked into. They will randomly select various assessors to look into your application in detail. You better make sure that there are no loopholes on your application. When it gets to this department, it's going to sit like me on the couch and take a rest. Lalela, after your application has been thoroughly investigated, your application will then move to the next status, which is completed by assessor. Lana, abara approve, abara reject, abara refuse. I've seen a number of you who are submitting a COP before your application has been approved. Do not send a COP unless your application has been approved. If you do, you are contributing to your application to delay. I repeat, do not send a COP unless your application has been approved. Now, on the next video, I'm going to be looking into approved application, rejected application, refused application, as well as what is expected from you as an applicant. Now, CNP community, you know what to do. Go forza on the buttons on the screen, and I will see you on the next video. With love, MP. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and get notification when I drop the next video.